Hey everyone, welcome to My Money Universe channel and to this amazing 40th episode. I hope all of you are enjoying this winter and looking forward to great Christmas. I'm already listening to Christmas songs from last week and have pissed many a people already. I I might get punched in my face soon. I'm that irritating right now. For Christmas day, I have planned bonfire and movie night with friends. I'll fire up the grill, cook something amazing and we will have dance and music and drinks all over the place. Let me know what you guys are planning to do. So today in this episode we're going to be talking about the new stock that I bought recently and plopped almost 2.5 lakhs into it. It is a great opportunity and this stock according to me will be doing some amazing job in next 10 years. Afterwards we have our cutest crypto portfolio and the whole saga of Vault with some very new updates. But before we start can you please help out the channel by smashing that pretty like button because you know I'm counting. Okay, let's start straight from checking out my portfolio first. Today my portfolio is at 39 lakhs 9133 rupees and overall it is up 50.44%. From last update it is down wait for it 3 lakhs 43805 rupees. Yes, that's how much I have lost in just a week. Wow. From last update I'm down 8% straight. 8% of my portfolio completely gone just in a week. This is some amazing time we are going through right now, no? As we are noticing the market slipping every day, my portfolio too is coming down along with it. So very natural. The fear of COVID is back, and US Fed is not helping the matter either. Sensex is down 2.66 percent this week, whereas Nifty is down 1.77 percent. We are talking about just one week. If we go with the individual stocks, then they have gone down like 7-8 percent this week. Some of them have gone 10 to 15 percent down also. As you guys already know that from quite some time I have been looking forward to make some huge buying in my portfolio but wasn't able to take the plunge sometimes my conviction was not enough sometimes the stock went too much up before I could even make the entire buy sometimes I didn't have enough money or sometimes the stock never came down to my preferred buying price it seemed like there was always something that would stop me from adding a great company in my portfolio as if it was a conspiracy against me as if i have been singled out by investing gods as i was sliding into the depth of despair and loneliness without that stock rummaging through the dark alleys of stock market and was about to join some weird cult then suddenly one day i came upon this beautiful thing hiding under the heavy sheet of rain and mud and waste but still beautiful to my eyes i took it out cleaned it and whoa i found my stock It looked like a great opportunity, good expanding sector, and also the one where India is taking more share of the world by each passing year. Company in itself is growing 20 to 25% every year. Management is pretty awesome, and hence I invested almost 2.5 lakhs straight in one go in this company. So the stock's name is Ami Organics. I bought 250 shares of it at the average rate of 898.45 rupees. It is currently up around 6%. Incorporated in 2004, Ami Organics is an R&D driven manufacturer of specialty chemicals with varied end usage. It's mainly focused on pharma intermediates for regulated and generic APIs and new chemical entities and key starting material for agrochemical and fine chemicals. ओके okay, इसमें कंफ्यूज होने की कोई बात नहीं है बेसिकली आपकी जो मेडिसिन बनती हैं उनमें पड़ने वाले मेन कॉम्पोनेंट्स ये कंपनी बनाती हैं मेन काम इनका ये है मेडिकल में and they are one of the biggest manufacturers of medicines related to antidepressant anti inflammation anti cancer anti parkinson and many others and this chronic disease market is the fastest growing market segment in pharmaceutical industry to so next time jab aap cold ke pills le rahe honge ya sardard ke liye koi dawa le rahe honge to ho sakta hai is company ka product usme use hua ho this company is truly a global leader in some of the components and has clients all over the world Some of the famous big name clients are Loras Labs, Zydus and Formion. And Emmy has long term relationship with most of the clients and is very very important for their business. So the company earns money through three verticals. One is the pharma API that I just mentioned, 88% of the revenue comes from this segment. Other vertical is the specialty chemicals. Sometime back they have done the acquisition of Gujarat Organics Limited to jump into specialty chemicals business. and now they are constantly improving on that side of the business too recently they have forayed into electrolyte additive and became the first indian and global company outside of china to successfully develop core electrolyte additives for cells 
यूज इन एनर्जी स्टोरेज डिवाइसेस तो जो स्टोरेज डिवाइसेस आप देखते हो जिसमें एनर्जी स्टोर होती है उस सेगमेंट के लिए इन्होंने एक इलेक्ट्रोलाइट एडिटिव बनाया है जो कि उसमें एक कोर कंपोनेंट होगा और जैसा कि आप देख सकते हैं वर्ल्ड इस टाइम पे हेवली मूव ऑन कर रहा है ज्यादा से ज्यादा इफिशियंट होने के लिए फॉर एनर्जी जनरेशन एंड ऑल्सो फॉर स्टोरेज तो ये कंपनी के लिए एक बहुत बड़ा रेवेन्यू सोर्स होने वाला है आगे जाके इनके सैंपल से ऑलरेडी काफी ग्लोबल पार्टनर्स को भेज चुके हैं और थोड़े टाइम में ऑर्डर आने अभी शुरू ही हो जाएंगे इट विल बी द ओनली मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ दिस प्रोडक्ट आउटसाइड चाइना सो यू कैन इमेजिन हाउ बिग दिस प्रोडक्ट इज गोइंग टू बी दिस मार्केट अलोन इज गोइंग टू बी टू बिलियन डॉलर बाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एट एंड कंपनी इज वर्किंग टूवर्ड्स ग्रैबिंग द टेन परसेंट ऑफ इट शेयर दैट मीन्स अराउंड टू हंड्रेड मिलियन डॉलर दे विल बी जनरेटिंग थ्रू दिस सेगमेंट इन नेक्स्ट सिक्स ईयर्स इट्स प्रिटी इंप्रेसिव सो राइट नाउ दिस स्पेशलिटी केमिकल्स इज प्रोवाइडिंग ओनली फाइव परसेंट ऑफ टोटल रेवेन्यू बट लुकिंग एट दीज डेवलपमेंट आई एम प्रिटी श्योर इट विल इंक्रीज टू अराउंड फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ द रेवेन्यू इन नेक्स्ट सिक्स टू सेवन ईयर्स द थर्ड वर्ड इज जस्ट द वन दट कम्स अंडर द अदर सेगमेंट it contributes 7% of the revenue here they sell their scrap parts and do other things this is not very relevant of course now we come to the part where we go like hey my money universe so how big is this chemical market and how much this sector is going to be increasing in coming times so in 2019 it was at 4738 billion dollars and it is anticipated to grow at 6.2% in next 6 years going by this estimate by 2025 market will be at 6785 billion dollars so this is the pie that we are eating out of as the shareholder of me organics china accounts for major market share here 40% in the segment followed by european union 14% and us 13% india accounts for just 3.5% market share in the global chemicals market going forward asia pacific region is anticipated to grow at the fastest rate of 7 to 8% during next 6 years the chemical market in western europe north america and japan are relatively mature and hence are expected to grow slow growth rates of around 3 to 4% now the indian chemicals market is valued at us 166 billion dollars Around 4% share in the global chemicals industry in 2019, it is expected to reach 326 billion dollars by 2025 with an anticipated growth of 12% CAGR. Now in all of this, specialty chemical industry forms 47% of the domestic chemical market, which is expected to grow at a CAGR of 11 to 12% over the same period. Now apart from all this growth we are talking about here, The major point is that the 40% market captured by China is going to go away in some time. Not all, but some. As mentioned by experts of this sector, the world is anyways trying to shift from China because of their national policies, COVID scares and other stuff, weird stuff that they are doing there. So when these billions of dollars will need to move on, then the world has no other option but to look towards India to absorb this much of the requirement. Now of course Indian government has to work for it and our private sector players need to improve their capabilities too and right in this here I see ME organics to overcome everybody else they are already trying to make few of the things that only china produces right now like the electrolyte we just mentioned some time back that electrolyte is just produced by china only and then supplied to the whole world but now ME has the capability and soon orders will be pouring So this is where finally we come to so that we can decide whether to invest in this company or no. Doesn't matter how good everything looked like in the analysis before, this is what makes us take the plunge. First, let's see the market cap of the company right now. It is at 3560 crore rupees. Now let's see how much the company earns. So in 2019 the revenue was 238 crores. In 2020 when covid started it went to 242 crores. It is still increasing. In 2021 it became 342 crores. In 2022 after the acquisition of a specialty chemical business it went to 522 crores. And till now this year it is doing at 565 crores. They have increased their revenue at 29.8 kg. Now let's come to net profit. This is the free cash flow that goes to owner's pocket. We are the owners of course here along with the management and everybody else. So in 2019 they earned 35 crores in 2020 it was 34.8 crores in 2021 it went to 71 crores in 2022 it was 91 crores and till now in this year they are going at 96.9 crores. This is the compounding of 37.6 CAGR. 
So right now it is available at a PE of around 47 and 6.8 at the book value. Is it costly? Yeah, of course it is. If you look at it from a very far away point, according to exports and also according to my analysis here, I find that this API and specialty chemical market is a growing market where Indian companies can be on the verge of big boom. China is facing a lot of headwind and with some time its share of 40% is definitely gonna start shifting towards India. Just see right now, India is at only below 4% of the total global market but we have all the capabilities and know how right now to start capturing more of the market. And this is where I see Amy Organics coming in. They are doing amazing work and milking out new APIs or some other thing which is helping them out in having very steady long term partners and revenue. They have already started producing electrolyte for energy devices cells that was earlier only made by China. So now they have started to grab the portion of China. And that was the story of my new stock. I will buy it more if the prices go down below 900 or 800 rupees. I can invest 1 lakh more in it. Hopefully I will have cash remaining by then. Woo! It was a long explanation. I hope you guys have already taken the like count to 100 for this video. 100 likes, that's all I want in my life. Business is starting to get affected by covid scare already, clients are getting panicky and already preparing for the worst. I'm once again in conserving cash mode. Hopefully things will clear out in coming times. I don't think all of you should be getting in the same zone. It's just I have the responsibility of my staff and their family and hence I need to be mature here and plan ahead. Cash in hand, 1.8% of total net worth. Okay guys, now let's turn our smile down, get little stressed and let's all look like a sad cat living in the alley. Because I'm about to show my crypto portfolio and then talk about world. So we have everything to be sad and depressed here right now. As we know, everything is melting in crypto these days and my portfolio is a great example of that. Remember, once I was around 50 lakhs with my cryptos but now I'm quite a sad and poor man. If you look at the screen right now, at the very left and the top, you have the crypto name, then on the right you have the quantity I own, then my buying price of that coin, then current price and finally on the right side is the current value of that crypto. You can pause the video now and just see the whole thing if you want to. My Bitcoin stashes value total right now is at 5.47 lakhs, Ethereum is at 5.19 lakhs, Polkadot 1.09 lakhs, Polygon 84,000, Mana 26,000, BUSD 1.18 lakhs, Solana 95,000. Total value of these cryptos are 14 lakhs 98,000 rupees. From around 50 lakh, it is down in the garbage right now and I don't think we are still done with the fall. So keep the seat belt on, ride is not over yet. As all of you know, most of my cryptos are stored in Vault and Vault has gone to donkeys. The latest update is that Nexo deal is about to fall through and the remaining options are the liquidation and wind down or appointing a crypto wealth manager. Both the options are stupid and they suck. Nexo deal is not officially out but it's almost gone. Just like I told last episode, the Singapore court case is already going on and they have a committee of creditors in which Vault users have been selected by the people. The company is helping Vault and the court has been appointed by Vault, that is Kroll. They and creditors will take the next step of the committee of the committee. So let's wait and watch. Alright guys, this is it for today. Hope you guys have already smashed the like button because bro, it really helps me. Okay, go now. Shoo, too much of shit talking. Signing out, My Money Universe.